guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 All Downhill From Here. Now, on the last part, I said that I would pick up right until Ricky was about to be turned into a vampire, and it turns out that that moment is happening right this second. So, it says that he's going to be, you know, turned into a vampire, so it says we're here. I feel as if a part of me has died, yet yeah, every other fiber of my being is raging with vigilance. <laughs> oh my god, vigilance. I cannot speak. I am sorry. I crave something yet. I don't know what. It's like a thirst. Well, if you, <laughs> I'm pretty darn stupid if you don't know what it is yet. So he's waking up, he's gonna be turned into a vampire, and then he can actually be allowed up into the, um upstairs area. And there we go. He's now officially a vampire. His skin will turn pale properly. Well, obviously it will. And hopefully, you know. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Come on. I want to be st There we go. You look oddly enough green. And what? He, he kind of looks. Oh, okay. He looks interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so now Ricky is allowed upstairs. He's now allowed uh, in the upstairs chambers. So he's no longer gonna be used as a blood bag, even though he never really was, I guess. But we're gonna specify and we're gonna allow a Ricky to be able to go upstairs. It's basically it was really bad timing for Juliet to get knocked up right now. Because if she waited, this baby would have been guaranteed a vampire, but it's a 50 50 shot right now. She's actually painting right now. So I'm gonna have him come upstairs and him and Juliet are gonna most likely tie the knot. Cause you know, he's a vampire, she's a vampire. It's it's about time, I'm thinking. But he's going to take Juliet's last name. I know it's supposed to be the other way around, but I think the Carson family name should just stay intact. So we're going to have Juliet come and propose to him. Plus, it, you know, she's obviously the one who wears the pants in the family, considering he was just wearing his boxers. So I'm going to have her come and propose marriage. And then they'll just have a little private wedding. What are you doing, Bridget? I thought I told you to go take care of Bella. Is she even potty trained? No. Hate it when they do this. Just come play with your blocks there. You just, you know, you just need to give them some privacy right now. Cause <laughs> Bridget, I'm, I'm about to kick you out right now. Alright, so Juliet doesn't have a baby bump yet, but she will soon. So hopefully we can get these two to tie the knot. Be fantastic if we can. Is Julia unflirty? No, she is flirty. I thought she was unflirty. No, she's flirty, so this should, should not take a lot of time at all. Like, originally he Ricky was forced into this. Like, we basically picked him off off the street. But feel that they do truly do love each other. It's not like a forced marriage. They do love each other. And it's going to be best for the baby. Also, they really are in love and they feel that this is right. It, it's good. They can live a nice, happy vampire life together. So, you know, once we can freaking propose marriage, it would be fantastic. Come on, there we go. Oh, we're not even... They're not even boyfriend-girlfriend yet, so... <laughs> just get straight to the point. Let's just propose going to study. Oh, Bridget. You, oh, heck no. You are now allowed to sleep in Juliet's vampire thing. You sleep up here, girl. This girl just has no boundaries at all. Alright, 
So, come on, you two. Oh, that lag, though. Just be friends with a vampire, yada yada yada. Do not care. Propose marriage. Come on. So, if you guys could stop, you know, that's, this is this is really awkward. Please stop. Just, just, there we go. Come on, Juliet, pop the question. Just get on your knee. Get down. Come on. Thank you very much. And there we go. So... They're engaged. Just gonna have a private wedding because one, I don't think they really should throw um, a big party because they're kind of keeping it. They want to keep it on the down low of Juliet's presence in Bridgeport because she has so far had no run-ins with the Vampire Council, and they are you know still hunting for her somewhere out there. So we do want to keep it on the down low. So, we're just gonna have a nice private wedding. Still romantic, you know, at home private wedding, but we got this. They exchange rings, and they are now officially married. So, how romantic. So, hopefully, did he take the Carson last name? Yes, yes, he did. Ricky Carson. Alright. So, perfect. Um,. I should actually get him his own coffin. E how's this gonna work? This bedroom is not big enough for two. Eh. Should just get them a double bed, shouldn't I? Yeah. They don't really need to sleep in a coffin. So I'll just get them a double bed. I don't really care what one at the moment. Maybe I'll edit it sometime else, but not right now. Just put this out in the patio. Once they move. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I'll just have them both head to bed. Well, you can use the washroom first. There we go. Alright. You two do that. So, in the next part, I will probably pick up to when Juliet will be having the baby. Like I said before, nothing interesting will probably happen in between then, but if something does, then I'll pick up when that interesting thing happens, if it does happen. Um, hmm, I still got a few minutes recording, so we might as well just mess around. Oh, Bridget, you're the caretaker. Please come take care of this little infant that you brought home with us. Please, and thank you. Oh my, that leg. Come on, Bridget. You walk like a snail. Please hurry up. Oh my. Mm-hmm. I hate it when they do this. Just pick her up, please. We do not have a gosh darn day. It's because, like, the nursery isn't big enough no, so they feel like, oh, we need to go downstairs, but the babies can't go downstairs, so they get stuck, and it's, 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 it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Let's come put her on the high chair. I'm not dealing with this right now. We got a baby on the way, and I do not want to deal with a toddler right now. So, please give this baby some food. Alright guys, so that's actually where I do need to end it. If you are enjoying, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.